Welcome back to Vanusfall Plains. We are going in as Eve. We're going to try to take down Satan. Oh, well, look at that. We got a... We got a Sacrifice Room right off the bat. We have a Rotten Baby. Sacrifice Room is going to take us down to the one heart that we want to be at. What a horrible night to have a curse. And then we have a perfect room to use this in. I am so upset that that did not give me a <laughs> freaking blue heart. What happens when we press this? Nothing. Nothing at all happens. Well, we got some pennies. We're gonna put them in this. Oh! Crystal ball! I don't remember what it does. Or look it up. Reveals the entire map and gets to play a random tarot card, Mr. Rune or Soul Heart. Yeah, alright, well. And there we go. Two hearts doubling your hearts. And since the blue flies are based off your damage, this works out really well. Come here, you stupid spiders. The moon. The moon takes you to the secret room. I remember because my cousin told me. Pink haunt. What does this version do? Do I even want to know? Not that bad with all those rocks there to block it. Blood clot damage and range up. Man, I wish we'd get some blue hearts. I feel a little dangerous sitting here at one. To the moon! Really? What do we got? Oh god, telepills. Whoa, that almost teleported. Pilled me right into damage. Okay. Well, I mean... Yeah, Blue Heart! Crystal Ball's not gonna reveal the map in this case, but... Blue Heart! That wasn't that bad. We have a lot of damage going for us. Senta? Oh, man. Senta's like the totally wrong thing for Eve. Oh, whatever. I guess we're not doing a curse run anymore. Eve wants to stay at one heart. Placenta heals you slowly over time.
Wait a minute, these are the ones... Nope, they're not the ones you can move. Okay. Oh snap, we got a card against humanity. Well, we're gonna come over here and we're gonna do this. So I guess we should talk about stuff, but I just don't have anything to talk about. Let's see, what's been going on recently? I guess it's 2016 now. Does that mean anything? People are going to act like it's somehow magically different than, like, just a week before, but people do the same thing with age. When 20 years and 11 months can't touch alcohol. Oh, shoot! A month later, you're completely different. It's all good now. I feel like the people that really hold on to, like, age rules don't remember being that age. Do you remember being 19? You could drink at 19. Do you remember being 17? I promise you I could make sexual decisions at 17. It's all ridiculously arbitrary. And this room clearing is, is taking some time. I'm sitting here watching my Facebook notifications blow up. So the current discussion going on there is, first off, you know that I am not, I don't even believe in closed relationships because a closed relationship is pretty much saying, hey, we should be, to be together for sex and sex is why we love each other. It doesn't make any sense. I'll never understand. Hey, honey, you had someone else's dick in your mouth. That means you don't love me anymore. And you'll have people talk about catching STDs and making babies and I completely agree if you are too stupid to have sex without catching an STD or making babies you should not be having sex with people seriously but the idea that I want to be with you because I don't want you to fuck anyone else that's just the stupidest thing as most things are when you say them out loud exactly you know putting the definition out there <laughs> No one likes to think about it that way, but that's basically what it is when you talk about cheating. Cheating is you went and had an orgasm with another person. Anyway, the discussion going on is if you are in a closed relationship, and don't get me wrong, if you're in a closed relationship, you should respect that. If, if you have agreed to this, then you're lying if you go ahead and cheat, regardless of your thoughts on the matter. You should have that discussion with your partner first. So the question is that's going around on on my Facebook is the argument of what you should do if you find out your significant other's been cheating. Um, the original post was something along the lines of you should apologize for not being enough of a person for them and that just sounds like the stupidest bullshit. You obviously need to have a talk with your partner. Um, find out if it's for some reason gonna bother you if they go off and have orgasms with someone else. It seems a little juvenile to me. You're drinking out of my cup. That's my cup in the fridge. I don't want anyone else to use it. I wasn't using it, and it won't affect me in any way, but I don't want anyone else to use it. it. It honestly sounds like I don't like other people touching my things, and that's creepy. That's that's creepy. Stop being controlling. It's not your thing. It's another living human being. Uh, so my thoughts, my, my questions to you guys are, what are your thoughts on closed or open relationships? Um, can you think of a reason to have a quote-unquote closed relationship that makes sense, that isn't just emotional, that doesn't involve I'm too stupid to have sex without making STDs or babies? Uh, I'd honestly like your thoughts. Um, I'm making it very clear where mine are, but I'm not going to shit on yours, I promise. I, I realize I'm being very vocal and strong on mine, but I... 
don't mean to come off as aggressive. It just I, I, I'm willing to hear other reasons. Well, we've cleared out this room. Uh, we've had, well, a one-sided conversation. I haven't heard your guys' thoughts yet, but hopefully, uh, you're gathering them and will chime in in the comments. Tune in tomorrow to see where this goes. I apologize that I do these on a week-by-week -week basis. I won't be able to respond to anything anyone says till next week. Have a wonderful day.